Much anticipation, Mac 2016 has finally arrived. So if premium quality, hardworking lays are what you're looking for, CMZ are worth a visit. Let's go inside and meet the team. Hi, Tom. Now you're the managing director of CMZ. Could you tell me a little bit more about how Spain works with the UK? Well, uh, here in the UK, we have a subsidiary, which is in uh, rugby, CMZ UK, and uh, we sell uh, and give service of our machines uh, through them in, here in the UK. And how many machines do you actually sell in the UK? We are selling around uh, 100 units per year. And the support, how many machines have you got in the UK in total? In total, we have around uh, 1,000 machines installed. And obviously the service and the backup, does that come from the UK or does that come from Spain? No, no, the service is, uh, comes from the UK. We have our own staff that uh, services our, our machines directly here in the UK with uh, people which are uh, local. And is there any more exciting machines on the way to come from Spain? Yes, uh, there are new machines that uh, we are just launching a new series of machines uh, of two and three meters with uh, new spinders and bigger capacities. Thank you very much for your time, Ito. Thank you. So, Wayne, we're going to start with the TA machine. What is the configuration? Uh, this is a 65 millimeter bar capacity twin spindle Y axis. Now, what's really impressive with this, I know one thing you're pushing at the show, is this turret. Tell me about what speed it runs at, or camera. This particular turret has 12 stations, which are all uh, live tool, and the speed on those is 12,000 RPM. Uh, and I think I'm right in saying in this current market, we're the only manufacturer offering that level of uh, revolutions. Now, we like talking about benefits, so what is the benefit of that? Well, the a couple of the main benefits are extended tool life, uh, increased surface finish, which lends themselves to better product, more stable and repeatable processes. Now, when you go faster, does that mean you lose torque as well, though? You need less kilowatts at maximum revs to achieve the power because the inertia of the RPM would keep it going. Uh, on this particular machine, though, we have a very generous 8 kilowatt as an all-day cycle, and we have a maximum kilowatt of 11. So, have you got the best of both worlds? Can you, can you machine exotic materials, difficult materials, and also do aluminiums at higher speed like a VMC? Due to the uh, generous torque characteristics of our, because uh, it has its own built-in motor, which is oil-cooled, uh, we can achieve maximum kilowatts at much lower revs. So in the more exotic materials, this has cutting benefits. Uh, tool wear and tool life would be extended by not over-revving the uh, tools to achieve kilowatts that required. So have you got any examples of customers that are achieving great results from this turret? Yeah, we have a, a customer in the Chesterfield area, stainless steel fasteners, who have four of our TA machines. Uh, they predominantly cut uh, Inconel and super duplex nuts uh, for the oil and power generation industries. And due to the good torque characteristics, the kilowatt power from the live tooling, they've got the benefits of tapping, rigid tapping up to M22 on this particular model. And on some of our larger models, we can go up to M24 rigid. Uh, very, very impressive. Okay, so this is the TA range, twin spindle or sub spindle Y axis TA machine. I'm now going to go talk to Ray about your gantry loading automation. So, Ray, this is all about automation. Is this a popular seller for CMZ? It is a popular seller for CMZ. And, and why would that be? What are the reasons? Um, I'm our machining, having the ability to machine billets, shafts. And is the solution fully integrated by CMZ? Is this, is this all of your product? It is. CMZ manufactures the whole product, so the responsibility is with CMZ. The, over, the robot gantry, the work stockers, so if there's any problems, which there is very little, um, CMZ will, will cure the problem. So with this machine, Ray, we've got a FANUC control with a CMZ operator panel. That, that, is that a good combination? It is, Paul. Um, it's required because of the robot gantry and the work stockers. And what about the components that you could you could machine on this? What's the weight and the max diameter? Uh, the components you can machine are billets or shafts. Uh, the maximum diameter is 280 millimeter, and the maximum weight is 10 kilos. And then, if you're doing a complex part, you need multi-axis. Has this got multi-axis function in the machine as well? This machine has all axes, including a sub-spindle. Okay, great. Ray, this is some machine. What's the capacity? Uh, the capacity is uh, 550 maximum turning diameter, 1.35 uh, 
distance between centres. Now, a little birdie tells me that this you might be getting a bigger version of this TC machine as well. Yeah, there is. There's going to be a two metre version and a three metre version. Now, when we talk about power, we, we're going to be, you know, machining maybe harder materials. What have you got on this spindle to do that? Uh, the power on this spindle is 52 kilowatt peak power and uh, 1,500 newton meters torque. Wow, that's pretty impressive. What about your turret on this machine? The turret, you can have the turret as 16 station turret or 12 station turret, uh, 12,000 RPM with up to 16 kilowatt in power. So, so this is some machine. I mean, is 16 turret or 16 stations on a turret? Is there a need for that? Uh, there is in, in selected areas. Um, obviously, 16 station turret with a, a large chuck is going to minimise sort of operations. But it, what it does mean is you don't have to keep coming back setting the turret, I suppose. That's correct. And is every station driven? It is. So we've got a steady on this machine, Ray. Is that standard? It's an option, Paul. Uh, it's driven on its own axis and it's programmable. And talking about axes, there's one thing I have overlooked. This is a Y-axis machine, which, you know, for a, for a big machine, that's quite unusual. It is, um, and the y-axis is 140 millimetre, which is very generous. OK, we spoke about the power of the spindle. With that, you need a heavy machine. Is this a one-piece casting and a box guideway, which we've come to learn about at CMZ? All CMZs are a one-piece casting and box section slideways. Brilliant. Thanks, Ray. So some of the other machines on the stand here at Mac 2016 this week include the TA30Y. This is a y-axis lathe. This has actually got a 10-inch chuck with 77 mil bar capacity. We've got a 12 station turret on this machine as standard, but like the other machines, this can uh, machine at 12,000 RPM. The beauty of this TA machine as well is it you can have 1100 millimeters turning length and a sub spindle as well. So this is the TA 30 Y axis. It's a heavy duty box guideway machine with plenty of power. So then here we've got the TX range. This is a, uh, a twin spindle, twin turret machine. We've got two turrets that have a Y axis. So we've got a Y axis on the bottom and the top. They're two 12 station turrets. This is a box guideway machine. Very heavy duty, premium quality for production machining. You've got twin spindle. We've got 66 mil bar capacity on the front or 52, depending on your choice. And then the sub spindle has 52 mil bar capacity. So this is orientated towards production machining, high volume component manufacture. So this is the final machine we're going to look at here on the CMZ stand. This is the TC30Y. I'm going to focus on the turret to start with. This is a 16 station turret and you get the option between having 16 kilowatt 4,000 RPM driven tools or 12,000 RPM driven tools. That's hugely impressive. That means that if you've got 16 tools as well, you don't have to keep changing the tools in the turret. The Y-axis is also another key point. This is a 140 millimeter Y-axis. So plenty of scope for your off-center or your milling operations on the machine. As usual, CMZ, this machine is a box guideway. It's got loads and loads of power. If you're coming to Mac 2016 this week, you should really visit this stand. We've been on CMZ UK.